Buying Robux. I have a great idea. Click on the amount of Robux you are about to buy. Click here and enter my star code Sunny. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing one of my most highly requested videos, which is how to get rich and adopt me 2020 video and how to like grow your inventory um, to be like pretty rich and pretty good. Now I've actually started trading in adopt me and taking adopt me seriously just a year ago. So my inventory was, I'd like to say, it took me a year to get. To this level, I'm going to show you guys my inventory and I'm also going to be hosting the Dream Pet giveaway at that exact same time. So let me show you guys. So this was at the end of 2021, I think October, and I still have the Mega Bat Dragon as it's a pet that I've had for a really long time. Um, but at the same time, it was like I did have a pretty good inventory, but my inventory compared to now, um, my inventory now is better. But anyways, so then this was the beginning of 2021. So I believe three months apart, I still had the Mega Bat Dragon and I gained some good Mega Legendaries like the Mega Owl. But I think that was it. I don't really know if I degraded a little bit. I think I did. I did lose a few good pets. But let me know your opinion of um, my inventory upgrade. Um, do you like my 2020 inventory better or do you like my 2021 inventory better? Let me know because I was kind of confused. Then this was two months later after the video I just showed you. And I actually ended up trading my Mega Owl and I traded it for some really, really good Mega Legendaries. And I think my inventory got better because like these pets have lots of like good value. Um, but you know, some people might not like the pets that I have right now but my inventory now compared to this is so much better here is my inventory now and if you guys see your dream pets make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below your, your dream pets as well as your username as in my spare time i join your guys's game and i give you your dream pet but yeah that this is my inventory now as you can see i've had a huge upgrade um and this is mainly by using the techniques that i'm about to show you guys today we all know that there are three different types of currencies on how to get rich on Adopt Me, which is the box currency, Robux currency, and also the pet currency, of course. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to get a huge number of bucks, some really, really good pets, and even Robux. Yes, Robux. I know you guys think, oh, I'm not allowed to buy Robux. How am I going to get Robux pets? Well, I'm going to teach you guys how to get Robux in a, the safest way possible. But yeah, let's just get started with the video. So for this method, you'll need um, a house, of course. Um, any house will work. I recommend a big house. That's why I'm using the tree house. Just a house that has a lot of space in it because you're going to need money trees and money trees take up lots of space. And you're just going to go to search furniture and you're going to search up money and this money tree will come up. Just click on it. And basically what this money tree does is it gives you money. Like that is what a money tree does, of course. I mean, look at the name. I don't have enough money to buy more money trees but on my other account I have a whole farm of money trees and I always collect money um, when I get the chance to and I've collected about 10,000 bucks just from money trees I have about I think I have eight money trees in my house I collect from them every single day and honestly it's so much worth it because the, I know the money trees are pretty expensive but they are really worth it If you are poor, and when I mean poor, I mean like actually poor and you don't have any legendaries or anything like that, um, then this method is definitely for you. Basically, you're going to go to the hospital and you're going to get a golden apple or something like that. And you're going to do the common to legendary trading challenge. Basically, you're going to trade the golden apple for a pet. It does not matter what pet you are going to be trading for. It just has to be a pet. For example, if I trade this healing apple for a dog, I'm now going to trade this dog for an uncommon pet, possibly like a dingo. Then I'm going to trade the dingo for a rare pet and then an ultra rare and then a legendary. And yeah, that is what the common to legendary challenge is. And I really, really recommend it because it actually works as well, which is really, really good. And I might actually be testing it out just for proof in one of my other videos. 
So the next method to get rich is basically you're going to come to the petware shop and there are lots of different free things you can get. For example, this free vintage badge. Um, it's really cute and it looks cute on my pets as well. And we also have these free pins. You can take one every hour, which is really good. And yeah, people just don't know about these pins. So when you actually trade them in the trading map, they don't actually know that you can get these for free. And then they'll trade you like some pets for it or something like that, which is really good. And you just basically get free pets. There's also this little place where you get some pet accessories, like including some really cute legendary ones. I mean, look at this toaster hat and this sandwich. They're really cute from these different chests and people don't know about these chests so if you buy one you might actually have a chance in trading it for something good because people don't know about this either like people don't visit this pet shop that much and therefore they don't actually know that these pet shop petware thingies even exist So for this method, you need lots of bucks. And this is the only account I have that has lots of bucks. And by the way, guys, do you remember in my first method, I told you about the money trees? Yeah, this is the money tree house I have on this account. Um, I get lots of money from it. But yeah, anyways, this is not the method for right now. Basically, the method right now is basically what you do is you get potions and you sell them. I mean, you don't sell them, but you trade them. I mean, you can sell them if you want to, but you trade them. And I'm going to show you guys how to get free potions. So if you guys remember the speed potion, the big head potion and the anti-gravity potion, I'm going to teach you guys how to get these for free. But first, I'm going to show you guys some of the other different potions. So this potion um, takes you to the sky castle, which I think is pretty cool. And this potion, well, it's not a potion, but it's pretty cool still. It's an age aromatic and it basically changes your age for you, which I think is also pretty cool. These collector potions aren't that interesting, they don't do anything, but they are pretty expensive, which kind of sucks. But if you want to buy them, you can, I guess, for show. This shard one is so cool, it basically makes you so light, and it's kind of like an anti-gravity potion, I guess. But, it, like, it lets me jump really high. I'm just gonna go here to show you guys. As you can see, it's pretty cool. But that's not what we want. So these potions are what we want. And this is like the big head potion, the anti-gravity potion, and the speed potion. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to get lots and lots of these potions. And you're just going to spread them out in your house. There we go. And now we're going to brew them, which means it's basically going to cook our, our potions up, I guess. But there we go. We just brew them all up and we're going to wait a minute and then we can, um, we will be able to get our potions. Okay guys, so it's been a minute and now I'm just going to collect all my potions. It's like this, just like this. And you can do this on as many potions as you like. You can get as many pots as you like and this will make lots of potions. And as you can see now in my food, I have six potions and also this anti-gravity potion, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, now all I do is sell them. And basically I've got these potions for free and they sell for full price as well. Even though I just, you know, used up a potion. So that's pretty cool as well. I used to always enter giveaways whenever I had the chance to. Whenever I saw my favourite YouTuber hosting a giveaway, I used to always enter them. And luckily enough, I was able to win two times and that was really good. I think once I won a Neon Unicorn and once I won a Mega Giraffe, I don't remember. But giveaways are definitely one of the best methods I like to use to get rich i mean it's not most likely you're going to win all the time but the more amounts of time you enter somebody's giveaway the more chance you have to win for example in the start of this video i did a giveaway and just like that i do giveaways in all of my videos every single video i post i always do a giveaway the more times you enter the bigger chance you have to win For all my fans that don't have Robux or their parents won't let them have Robux, this is the moment you've been waiting for, I guess. I've never ever done a Robux giveaway. However, I have 120,000 group members and I also have lots of group funds. And that is why I'm going to be doing a Robux giveaway. So all you have to do to enter is just join my group and I'm going to be giving away Robux to 10 lucky members from my group. So just join, it's really, really simple. and maybe you'll get some robux 
To be rich, you obviously have to be a really smart trader. And if you don't know values of pets that much, don't worry, I'm going to help you. There's this really good website called Adopt Me Values, where basically you can see the pet, the different values for pets. I'm just going to show you food, for example. So as you can see on tier, tier one, we have the chocolate egg and a water walking potion, and then it just, you know, casually goes down. And if you, even if you click on it, you can have a look at what it's about and even the items close in value. So if you don't know what a walking potion is worth, well now you do, it's worth all these new and legendary pets and you can, if you want a water walking potion, then you know what to give for it as well. If you want to trade your pets, but every single server that you join is just really poor or they don't have the pets that you're looking for, well not to worry, I'm going to help you on how to solve this problem of yours. So in my group, I have three different server links. So the first one is the richest, the second one isn't that bad, um, and the third one is like all right. Um, and the third one is mainly for people that don't have that many good pets. But um, you can choose whatever server you'd like to join and they're usually not that full. So you'll probably join them in a few seconds. But yeah, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys had a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.